Hey Gemini and welcome to your tarot love readings. We are going to take a look at the messages that are coming in for you. Um, so we're going to take a look at and see whether your special someone here, whether he or she is indeed your destiny or at the very least a part of it. As always guys, these messages are going to be general so please be mindful of that throughout this spread. For those of you that are interested in a personalized tarot reading, please feel free to inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here where the show more section is, along with all the information that you will need. So, this reading here is intended for Gemini, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. So let's take a look and see whether he or she here is your destiny, Gemini. What messages um, are you being guided to here? Swords in reverse, the Ace of Wands, the Nine of Cups here. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. The Lovers card in reverse. Okay, what's going on here? And the Devil. I've got a few cards in reverse here, Jenny's. <sighs> okay, what's happening here? Not a lot of communication going on between you and your special someone or at the very least it's not proper communication for some of you things for some reason the, right now based on the current in energies being emitted things aren't necessarily the way that they were before or they were to begin with something here might have shifted or changed for you here right There's a sense of restlessness. Um, some of you are feeling burnt out from something here. Might have been some sort of argument, might have been a conflicting, conflicting energies here, a disagreement. Um, something here which has exhausted you. Like it's this restlessness, it's this, um, could be isolation here for some of you. Maybe you're in lockdown in isolation here. Um, but something here has shifted for you, Gemini, between you and your special someone here. It's like, it's like your heart wants to relax or at least take a bit of a breather or a break from this connection. But your mind is saying, no way, no way. Your mind is going to overdrive. And of course, you're an S and you're a Gemini. You know, that's, um, that's probably the norm for you here. But I feel like um, you feel as though you have too much riding on this or you feel as though you have too much depending on this Gemini here. If something, don't ever try and push ahead. If like, if there is signs, if there are signs from the universe or from source here that are telling you, you know, you should probably take a step back or you should probably take a break. Or if something here is unfolding, not as the way you had envisioned or you pictured it, it's because I feel like there's a need to rest or there's a need to take a break or there's a need for you to retreat. Or, you know, if this person is, if someone here is, you know, um, using their silence here as a weapon or they don't want to communicate, um, Feed them the same time. No, it's not to play games, okay? Don't get me wrong. We're not playing games here, but I feel like you need to sometimes feed them a taste of their own medicine, so so they can, you know, have have the taste of what it feels like. Because I feel like don't try to push ahead because if there if there is this resistance, what I'm trying to say, if you're getting resistance from your person or from the universe, don't try to push ahead because it's it's like it's going to only make you think make things more difficult for you in the long term, okay? Um, because I'm seeing that. This person that you're involved with, Gemini, in short, I do feel like they're your destiny. I do feel like you are destined for one another. With the Nine of Cups, I'm getting a sense of a law. This is the Law of Attraction, Tarot card of the deck. This is Wish Fulfillment. So you've manifested this person into your life. For some of you, you might have dreamed them into your life. For a lot of you, maybe this person ticks all the traits, the characteristics, and the qualities that you, you like and you seek within a partner, okay? Or you feel like a dream come true to them. You feel like, you know, they've manifested you. So I do feel like you, you guys have bought, like you've manifested one another, okay? You're in alignment with each other. But right now, something's happened, okay? Something's happened. Because you do have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. But I don't feel like 
there may be no communication or there may be a need for you to take a break from one another. Some of you may be in a long distance relationship and maybe that in itself is what's burning you out here. But just don't go against the resistance because there is some sort of resistance that is being offered up to you either by them or through the universe. Don't go against the resistance because whatever is happening... Okay, take heed, because whatever is happening, is happening because it's exactly unfolding in the very way that it should be, even if it feels uncomfortable, even if it's not necessarily, you know, a part of your plans here, Gemini, just everything is unfolding exactly as it should be. It may feel uncomfortable right now, I can feel it in the energies, but write it out, Gemini, write it out, because what's happening right now is taking you to where you need to go. Yes, even with all the resistance, even with the lack of communication, even with the fire that once burned ever so brightly with that dimming or, you know, coming to a flicker, everything is unfolding exactly as it should be. It may not necessarily be in your plans, okay, but it's in the plans of the divine because I'm seeing a lot of you, there is a, there's a shift in energy and the Wheel of Fortune reminds us that everything is a constant state of fluidity in life okay everything is constantly shaping shifting growing what comes up eventually ev sorry eventually goes down okay the law of physics here you know what goes around around comes back up so um right now things have changed shifted but it's not going to stay that way permanently believe me things are going to get better things are going to work themselves out where there is no communication there will be communication where there is stagnation there will be movement where there is no fire or there is a flicker there is going to be a flame a massive fire so things are constantly um shape shaping or shifting so for a lot of you you went from good or great to not feeling so good or great okay that's okay okay you need to take the good with the bad you need to take the good with the bad okay the good cannot exist without the bad light cannot exist without the dark you know one there needs to be contrast in life you need to because how can you feel happiness if you haven't felt pain okay how can you feel a, se a sense of you know a sense of uh like how can you how can you know what life feels like if you've never been in the dark like you need to take you need to be accepting of what you need to be accepting of how things are right now because this person is a part of your destiny and they will gravitate back towards you okay people that are meant for you in your life people places circumstances things events they naturally gravitate towards you even if they might leave or exit your life for a temporary amount of time but they they will come back eventually i feel like your paths will cross your paths will cross there is something here that i feel like is um there's a very strong attachment that you have to one another gemini um, a very strong attachment that you have to one another here. But I feel like there's a coldness. There's a bit of a coldness right now. That's okay. Things will, things will heat up. There's a bit of a disharmony, a conflict. Um, some choice that you're going to have to make. Or maybe it's a choice that you made and it didn't lead to the best you know, to the best of um, events, but just know that, know that you're, you're, you're protected, okay, the both of you are protected, your love, your connection is protected, and is being blessed by the angels above, and just because you're going through an uncomfortable kind of time or energy right now, doesn't mean you have to stay there, doesn't mean that how, that's how it's going to be forever, okay, um, yeah, I'm seeing that there's a sense of Im imbalance, a sense of harmony, a conflict in your relationship. But this too shall pass and you will get through it. Because I feel like with the devil, there is this very, sh there's this, I feel like it's love, it's lust or it's love for a lot of you. Um, but it's destiny, it's destiny. It is, it's. I feel like in the grand scheme of things, the bond that you have created is very strong. For some of you, be careful because it's a little bit too strong in a sense where you may be careful that you don't lose your individuality or be careful that you know you don't um, become too codependent, co-reliant on one, on one another. But I feel like the bond that you've created is very strong for some of you. I feel like this person... Um, you may be joined in forces with this person, like uh, joined in marriage or like a, a close intimate relationship. You may be currently joined in marriage or in the future here. The lover's card is all about choices as well, right? So 
just remember you always have a choice okay you always have a choice in life even though it may not seem that way you have a choice and you you know one of your many choices is to see this as a blessing okay because there is some good that is happening because i feel like this whatever is going on between the two of you is only strengthening you together as a couple um, and it's only going to bring the two of you closer together. It's only going to make you stronger than you are before here. It's necessary. Whatever is happening right now, you don't have to. You don't have to necessarily believe in me, but at least be open to the idea of, you know, be open to the idea that whatever is happening right now is for your own personal development. It's for the development of the connection here. So there you have it, Gemini. Thank you for watching and listening. Um, and yes, this person is your destiny. And yes, for a lot of you, you're destined to cross paths together. You're destined to cross paths again. Until then, just, just relax and let the universe do its magic. Um, so that, you know, when you do cross paths again, you'll be ready. Um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for listening. I will be sharing with you more tarot love readings uh, later in the week. So do stay tuned. Thank you guys for your time and attention. Greatly appreciate it. Um, and bye for now.